Now I have made several videos about the ginger shield Jason Lightfoot in the past. To be perfectly honest, there is probably no need to talk about Jason Lightfoot again. After all, he really just repeats the same old garbage in all of his videos. But I do feel it's necessary from time to time to make an update video about these shields. And it just so happens to be Jason's turn today. So congratulations Jason, you made it onto Shield Busters again. So what is the Ginger Shill up to these days? Well, once again, he's making these overly simplistic, unfair and extremely one-sided comparison videos between China and the USA. What a surprise! So let's take a look at the Ginger Shill. Why is the US crumbling? Now, I'm no expert, but if you look around me here, this is China. This is Guangzhou City. Look at it, it's just beautiful. Look at these skyscrapers towering above me. There's one there still under construction going up. What is it with these shills and skyscrapers and infrastructure? I mean, I guess Jason hasn't been to the USA where they were building skyscrapers like what, 100 years ago? Skyscrapers are not exactly a sign of a country's wealth. Most cities and countries all over the world these days have skyscrapers, so it's not a big deal. This is just the beginning of his trashy video, and already we're starting to see Jason's bias towards China. The economy in the US has shrank 1.4%, but the economy in China has grew 4.8%. What you're seeing is enormous growth in the country. Enormous growth. The U.S. economy shrank in the first quarter of 2022. America's economy shrank for the first time in nearly two years. The U.S. economy has contracted by 1.4%. Showing our economy shrunk in the first quarter of this year. Enormous growth. So all of these problems that are going on in the USA at the moment have been televised, reported about and talked about in media all across the world. What about China? Well, China's doing its usual thing by covering up and censoring anything that would shine a negative light on the Communist Party. This is the country that banned reports about a Xi Jinping lookalike for crying out loud. If I was given the choice in living in a country where I can talk about its problems or live in a country where I am constantly walking on eggshells, I know exactly which country I would choose. I would definitely prefer to talk about the problems and face them head on instead of pretending that these problems don't exist. It amuses me that Jason, the hater of Western media, uses Western media to illustrate his points. The same Western media he accuses of being biased against China is actually being used by Jason to be critical of the USA. <laughs> But according to Jason, the Western media is biased and evil and we can't believe what they say. But at the same time, he's using this Western media? What the hell is going on? I think I know why Jason only cherry picks the stories that go with his narrative from Western media. It's because he doesn't understand the Chinese language. Otherwise, wouldn't he be using media from China in his videos to support his arguments? Why doesn't he use Chinese news articles? After all, he lives in China and is trying to put across the point of view of the country where he currently resides. He only uses Western media because he can't read a single word of Chinese. Also, he knows how bullshit and one-sided Chinese media is. Literally see the growth there, that, that building being built. That's the growth. Yeah and that building will probably be empty when it's finished. I remember when I lived in Dalian, there were several skyscrapers that were there, they'd been finished and they were empty for years and years, and they probably still are. And a park like this in the bang in the center of a city, and the tower, Canton Tower overlooking there, and then you've got the IFC uh, building there. Oh, 
this is amazing. Ah, <sighs> what is it with these shields and parks? They seem to think that only China has nice parks. Aren't they forgetting that their home countries also have nice parks in city centers? What the hell? China is set to become the world's largest economy much sooner than expected because of how well it handled the COVID pandemic. Oh my God, how well the Chinese government handled the COVID pandemic? Please, please guys, give me some of what Jason is smoking. This is ridiculous. Let's just see how well the Chinese government handled the COVID pandemic and how they're handling it right now. Oh right, they've locked a whole city down of over 20 million people and it's now become the biggest prison on earth. Yeah, that's handling the pandemic well. Is America heading into a recession. I mean, just look at their cities, look at the streets, look at the state of it, look at the way that the people are living. Look at the guy in charge, for Christ's sake. Okay, so yeah, he mocks Joe Biden, and that's perfectly fine. We've all had a good old laugh at Joe Biden, haven't we? But look at the state of the guy who's in charge of China, Xi Jinping. This dude sounds like he's talking in slow motion, and he just seems utterly devoid of emotion. Is this guy a machine or a person? Joey B is seeking a another 33 billion US dollars in aid to Ukraine. 20 billion of it is military aid. What? Did he seriously just say that? As if sending military aid to Ukraine, a sovereign country that was invaded by Putin, is a bad thing. Once again, we have another CCP shill supporting Putin's unjust invasion of Ukraine. What a surprise. Just look at that. This this is China. Need I say more? Need I, need I even speak a word? I may as well just stay silent. Turn the camera around. This is China. Ah, it would be nice if he could stay silent. Because it's just so much better when he doesn't talk, you know? Like, honestly, when Jason doesn't talk, his videos are so much better. Because he just talks absolute crap. I really don't know what is going on in America, you know. Yeah, that's right. He doesn't have a clue what's going on in America, and he never will. He'll just keep making these sweeping generalizations and overly simplistic observations over and over again, because that's all he can do. He's like a broken record, just constantly spewing out the same old crap. Look at it. Just look at it. Like I said, I don't, I don't need to say anything. I don't need to say a word. I'll just show you. Need I say it? Need I say any more? I mean, look at, look at those trees. Are they palm trees? <laughs> if anyone knows what trees they are, then tell me in the comments below. I mean, this is beautiful. Wow, I can see skyscrapers and trees. That must mean the economy is booming. <laughs> oh, there's a 7-Eleven there. It's a much cooler inside here, got the air conditioning. So here he shows us a 7-Eleven, an American company. He only recognizes this because he loves America. And also, he can't actually read any Chinese signs. So when he sees a couple of numbers, yeah, he can definitely read that. It's really interesting, isn't it? How he thinks the boom in Chinese economy is all because of China, but then he forgets about all of the international companies that have invested in China. So this is Jason Lightfoot, a simple guy making simple videos for God knows who. I wonder who his audience actually are. Let's see some of the most recent comments on this video. Wow, so they're not the typical stock Wumao comments, are they? <laughs> oh dear, this guy, Jason, is an extremely biased shill 
who only ever shows bad footage of the USA and good footage of China. He's pretty much doing what he accuses Western media of doing to China. An extreme case of the pot calling the kettle black. What I want to know is, why does he always choose America to compare China with? Why doesn't he compare China to his home country, the UK? I'll tell you why, because he's afraid that if he does do this, when he eventually flees back to the UK from China, and he will run away, trust me, they all do. He are Give me a fucking break. He will actually have to live in the UK, and there may be consequences for his propaganda videos for the CCP. Jason is a lot smarter than he looks, so he chooses to trash the USA in his videos because he knows he will probably never go there and never have to face the consequences of trashing this country for his shitty propaganda videos for that evil dictatorship, the CC bloody P. Thanks for watching guys, I'm sorry that you had to put up with this ridiculous shill, but hey, somebody's gotta do it, right? I watch the shill videos, so you don't have to. So please guys, don't forget to like the video, comment, and of course subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. This shill has been busted. Again.